What do you think are some effective ways to establish mentorship relationships in the perioperative setting? I, I think that you have to understand when you have um, a nurse who is not as experienced as you are in the perioperative um, arena, you have to allow them to ask questions and you have to allow them to challenge. Um, now I can, I can relate this all the way back to when I was a young nurse. It was as simple as asking, why do we do that? Yes. Help me understand why we do that. And the answer cannot be because that's the way we do it. Uh, right. You have to be able to explain to people and understand that they're, they're trying to understand why we do. And I think you have to, have a, you have to be a very patient person. You really do. Um, you know, things that come so easy to you that you think, well, why would they not understand how to set up a room or what we need for this case or, or even in the PACU because, you know, that's part of the perioperative or even in pre-op because I've, I've touched a lot on the OR, but there are so many aspects. We, you know, we mentor in PACU, we mentor in peri-op um, and intraoperatively, but I think we have to put ourselves back at a place where we understand they don't know all we know. Yes. And they're not going to unless we take the time to help them understand. And that we also help them understand the whys, the background behind, behind it. So Ruth, what would you say is um, the most important thing about mentorship when it comes to perioperative nursing? How do you think that plays into our overall um, our overall plan for our, our nurses and for our departments? Well, you know, we do have Periop 101 programs right now, but you know, when you, when you graduate from nursing school, you know nothing about the perioperative arena. Right. You certainly don't know how to work. if you were able to get there while you were in If school. you were even able to get there. Right. Uh, you know, I spent a day and a half in the OR when I was in nursing school. And so there's so many nurses they don't have the opportunity. They're not, they don't do a rotation through and hopefully they have a Periop 101 program. When you walk into an environment, you may be a nurse, but when you walk into a totally a environment that you know nothing about and you look around and you don't even know what they're doing, um, you have to have a mentor. You're, you're going to, we have to steer our nurses and mentor them in the right direction because we do want them, uh, we, we want them to learn the right way yes. and uh, it to be evidence-based, right. what they're doing. And um, so that's all, that's, that's an, a really key part of mentoring in the perioperative arena is the lack of knowledge when you walk into that environment that you absolutely, you have to have someone. And I was fortunate I hope you were fortunate to have someone. Yes. Um, you ha but you have to be willing to be a mentor. Yes, so to that point, one of the things that I've really enjoyed in my um, tenure with AORN and working with our local chapter in Houston is that we've always had lots of student nurses that end up in our meetings and that we invite the schools around and we've had educators in our areas that have been just so immensely passionate about ensuring that our student nurses do have an opportunity to learn about perioperative nursing even if they don't have more than a day and a half of a rotation. And so that I've learned through our chap our local chapter that you can pull them in that way. And so um, I think if we could do more of that as well, because you know the magic happens at the chapter level. That's, that's mm, just absolutely. a fact. And so I believe as we pull these student nurses in, we will create an opportunity for that pipeline to continue to grow from a period perspective. So that just goes back to, to that mentorship you're talking about from just all levels, all aspects where people can understand what's happening in our area because you got to love it once you get in there. I mean, people just don't know what's happening behind that red line, but once they get back there, oh my God. So Ruth, what are the key benefits of men mentorship for our perioperative nurses at different levels of their career? I think it leads to leadership, if, if you want. I, I think if you're willing to be a mentor, you're, you know, when you're mentoring someone, if you want to educate them or help educate them or teach them uh, to be a better nurse and to know more and to learn more, 
I would hope that you're doing a lot of that they're doing a lot of research and a lot of reading on their own. Yes. I think that's one of the first steps of, of seeing that I'm a leader. I just mentored a nurse, or I mentored two or three nurses, yes. and then you look behind you and you think, what's the next logical step for me? Yes. Do, I, do I want to be, you know, move all the way up to be a director? Um, so I, I think there's definitely, I think there's definitely benefits to it. Um, there's certainly the mentors in, in the Prairie Up Arena are, um, and behind the red line in the operating room, there's certainly people that I admire and respect beyond belief um, that they're willing to, to share what they know and not hold back and help, you know, because at the end of the day, the bottom line is it's all about the patient and being a patient-centered nurse. And I think that's another key element of mentoring is, you know, keeping that patient at the center of everything we do. But I think it's a step up in leadership. Okay. And uh, that's the other thing I think. I think some people want formal leadership roles, but other people want leadership roles such as educators and clinical nurse specialists and varying things that um, we also lead at the bedside. So I think mentorship fits into every single role that we have in a periop, you know, arena. Um, and I think it's just something we need to understand as a profession that it's so important for us to do it. And everybody can do it in different ways. It's not just done one specific way. Mm -hmm.